FIVB Beach Volleyball Swatch World Tour is at altitude as the planet's best players have come to Switzerland. It's a Grand Slam event with all to play for, right here in Stad. Hello and welcome to Centre Court, Clayton Lucas here with you for our second semi-final from the women's draw. It's Italy versus Brazil, the surprise package from the tournament. Italy's Marta Menegatti and Greta Ciccolari having made it through to the semi-final stage. The team seeded fifth, but have certainly exceeded that seeding. Weather conditions, well, they're fantastic. It is a little bit cloudy, just about how the players like it. But plenty of sun over centre court at the moment. A little bit of breeze, and it's nice and warm. The Italian team up against the number two seeds, the defending champions, the current world champions. Brazil's Juliana and Larissa. Marta Menegatti, the younger of the duo. And a team that can both block and both defend. And a team more than capable of coming up with the goods. And will no doubt be spurred on by having made it this far in the tournament. They've got nothing to lose, really. And they'll be able to express themselves. At least they'll be hoping to express themselves. But uh, Juliana with the drink, who does the blocking looking to deny Italy that option and opportunity to express themselves. Larissa, well, as she is doing now, does a lot of the talking. Juliana does a lot of the listening. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome for the women's semi-final acting as the first referee. The first official for this one. From Australia, Catriona Tweedy. And she'll be ably assisted. Patricia Valvogel. By Patricia Valvogel from Switzerland. We wish those two the uh, very best of luck and hope you have a good game. No doubt they'll be nervous. It's the semi final match. And no doubt the players too will be nervous. As out onto court comes Marta Menegatti. Just 20 years of age. According to the stats, but the fact she is 22, born in 1990, she'll be 22, 21 actually in August, won't she? And her playing partner, Greta Ciccolari, a more experienced player. But they are really going to be put to the test here against what are, who are right now the best players on the world tour. Juliana Felisberta de Silva, one of the few players on the world tour in the Millionaires Club with her $1,138,000 in prize money and her playing partner, Larissa Franca, also with over a million dollars in prize money. 40 career wins for Larissa, 39 for Juliana. It's a very impressive haul for 10 seasons on tour. So the final exchange of pleasantries has taken place. And this first set can get underway. Brazil in yellow, receiving Italy in green, serving this for a place in the final here in this Centre court in start at this one-to-one -one energy Grand Slam. Marta Menegatti will serve. Greta Ciccolari at the net blocking. Brazil receiving. Game on. Very nearly an X for Italy. The ball could have gone anywhere really once it hit the top of the net. A gift of a point for Brazil to get things going. 
Very generous of Italy. Although they know they can afford a few of those. And the ball deems to be on Italy's side when uh, Giuliano went up to play this. And Italy very quick to bring that to the referee's attention and Catriona Tweedy agreeing that the ball had not crossed the plane of the net. It was not on Brazil's side for Giuliano to play it, and especially as it was only the first touch. So straight away, Catriona Tweedy asserting her authority. Great run from Menegatti. Unforced error from Brazil, and there's huge shouts around centre court when uh, Larissa went to spike it and then set. And a lot of people felt that it was a double touch. But she gets away with it, and Italy have the lead. Excellent lead from Giuliano. <laughs> Well, a big scream from Marta Menegatti because she doesn't like the way Larissa played the ball but it was hit hard and so the high hands defence is fine and Larissa straight away going across the net to talk to Marta and she shouldn't really a little bit of afters at the net Larissa is not allowed to go and talk nothing wrong with the end result in Brazil getting the point but Marta Menegatti not happy with the defence played by Larissa nice swing that was quality spiking from Marta Menegatti Giuliana replies in kind. Chicolari getting a touch, but not a meaningful one. <laughs> Menegatti running away from the ball. It's a waiting game in defence. How long can you wait? How long can you hold? How much time can you spend not thinking for the spiker? Is a common fault. Players tend to do it in defence. Good movement from Larissa. And that one hitting Chicolari on its way out. So Brazil will have the point. As a defender, you can quite easily get into the trap of thinking for the spike. In other words, thinking, oh yeah, they're going to hit cross court. They're going to hit line. You don't know what they're going to do until they do it, unless they give you a read or a tell or something that clearly indicates where they're going. In which case, you've just got to wait and hold and then go. And the chance goes missing. Chikolari can't find the baseline. It was a great passage of play, lovely transition. Both teams are working hard, but at the moment, it's just not quite coming up with the finishing touches required. And so Brazil have a three-point lead. Chiglari's timing's just off at the moment. A little bit later, maybe a fraction of a second, and she'd have had a really good touch on this. But as it is, she goes just a tad too early, and in which case not enough strength to really get the, the full contact on the ball. And therefore, it's Giuliano who comes up with the point. Nice work from Larissa, holding her ground. And then coming up with the shots to the line. And a good example of just how strong she is and what good shoulder strength she has to be able to hold that position in the air, let the ball drift, and then wrap it to the line. She's facing cross-court pretty much. A slight turn as she hits it. Excellent control. And Italy call timeout.
Wir wissen schon, wir bieten euch mal Publikum. Filling up very nicely here in Stad. The mascots, muscle mouses, muscle mice, doing their bit to entertain the crowd. And now it's the turn of the players. Benagati with an excellent disguised line roll shot. If you serve straight at Giuliani, you're going to find yourself in trouble. You've got to move her and try and make the ball go left or right of her. But anything straight at her, she's going to pass for fun. And then she's in the zone, into a rhythm. Straight up, over the top, into the corner. Classic Giuliana hitting. really stretching and reaching up onto the ball, extending her shoulders away from her hips, but able to get the height and power she needed to put that ball away. Oh, the pokey good enough this time for Juliana. Goes Brazil's way, net touch against Italy. Juliana having a, trying to have a word with Catriona Tweedy. Catriona just sending her on her way. Lovely swing. Well, you can see Italy are not phased by this at all. They've come into this semi-final on a high. And the reason for that high is their uh, win in round three against the number three seeds, Misty May Trainer and Kerry Walsh, the current Olympic champions, beating them in three sets, 15-11 in the decider. Hence that strapping on uh, Chikolari. She had some small strapping on the back of her thigh, which has now uh, moved into some very serious strapping down her left leg. Too easy for Juliana. We'll shoot across court. First error from Juliana, or well, from Larissa, as Juliana looks on. Technical timeout reached, but Brazil still in the driving seat. See the breeze that is around centre court with the flags above the uh, side-on part of the stand. And even with that breeze, it's still pretty warm out there on court. What a spectacular view there is. This tennis centre nestled in the mountains here of Stad, this small village, which is taken over this week by the World Tour and the uh, town 
welcomes the players and fans with open arms. given the chance to hit, likes to take it. Superb core stability, great ab strength and oblique strength to hold herself in the air and then deliver that kind of a shot. Chase the ball down, but wasn't going to get there in time. It's interesting, Juliana making a very good touch in the block, and Larissa getting up frustrated with her because the ball didn't then go to where Larissa was standing. Wanting the ball to go to Larissa, line block as well to follow. Makes the touch, can't finish it off. Juliana's in there, prowling, pacing and putting the ball away. Tactics nearly worked for Italy, but nearly isn't good enough at this level especially against this team. These, these teams have uh, played each other on two previous occasions. And uh, it's Brazil who won both of those. Although the last time they played in Brasilia, it was three sets to decide who won it. And Italy playing to the whistle, getting the job done, coming up with the point. Lovely read, good chase from Marta, and then good thinking from Chicolari. Both Larissa and Juliana stuck in at the net. And of course, nobody defending deep. At least Larissa didn't make herself look silly by trying to jump and block as well. I've seen that happen before. Two players stuck in the net, both blocking. Chikolari with her first opportunity to have a swing in the match and she fluffs her lines. I just wonder whether Larissa's going to go back to her again. I think she does, but Marta covers for her. That's not going to land in play. And it's an easy lead for Brazil as they just press home the advantage. Once again, and Chikolari came running in. The hand was up for the pokey. There was no set coming, but neither Larissa or Juliana was paying attention. Good core stability. Juliana probably has the best in the business. You can see that with her physique, but the way she's able to jump to her left and then hold herself in the air and hit back to the right. That's world class. Chikolari just squeezing that one through. Melagetti, 
follow it up and it's now set point for Brazil. Well, if Italy look at this set in terms of the unforced errors they've made, that would account for the five-point gap. And that really is the difference between the number one team on the planet and everybody else. The number of unforced errors that they make compared to everybody else is very few. Chicolari taking on Juliana and beating her. But Brazil now have four opportunities from side out to win this first set. Again, she's getting it through the arms of Juliana. A little bit of luck, but she'll take it. Another set point save. This time Menegati puts the ball away down the line. And now they're going after Juliana. Menegati reads it well. Goes for the cross-court angle, doesn't get a touch, and so Brazil take the first set. 21-17, but a momentum builder for Italy as we get ready for set two. Well, this is how it was lost. Just thought maybe Menegati was going to roll the line, but she does like to hit hard. And on that occasion, it costs her the set. and girls doing their best to entertain but it's the players that are entertaining and it's Italy who come out to serve for the start of the second set in a bid to try and make it through to the final but in their way the defending champions who have already notched up the first set and Agati with the serve Great disguise from Juliana. Everything facing cross court, but then a very fast arm to the line. And no chance at all for Italy. Larissa with the serve. Great pick up from Larissa. And a super put away. Excellent little bit of hustle from Larissa at the start of this second set. She could sense that there was an opportunity to make the dig and she took it. But more importantly, she was then able to finish it off with the spike cross court. So the effort wasn't wasted. Oh, massive block from Juliana. And Brazil have made their move right at the start of this second set and Italy have called a timeout. Menegatti, great posture, great technique straight into the meat of Juliana's block. Smack into the middle of court. Well, Italy's attempt to stop the rot means they have to burn their only timeout. They in a bid to get themselves back into this match. Larissa with the serve. 
Benegati, the likely target. The line cut was on. She's gone for the cross court cut and she's going to be made to pay by Larissa, who was waiting for her cross court. And then comes back with her own line roll and it's 4 0. And it's more trouble for Italy. And no doubt Larissa is going to go after Menegatti once again. She does, but Italy saved by the net. just the last thing Italy need is to give the ball straight back to Brazil without making them have to work for it without making them have to dig set and smash they just go straight back to serve and put the pressure on Italy oh well that's a huge block and again Marta seems to just be focused on hitting at the moment she's losing not say losing the plot but just losing what's going on around her because the line was wide open here and Juliana's jumped way, way into the cross court. A good two or three metres, almost into the middle of court to make the block. And the line was gaping and begging to be hit. And Marta didn't take it. Change up. Chikolari tries to get the side out. And she does. Larissa is uh, very upset with herself that she didn't chase that one down. Read the fact that Chikolari was going with the pokey early, but then just didn't move herself quickly enough to the ball. <laughs> Nasty spin on the ball, and when Menegatti went to play it, she couldn't keep control of it. That spin imparted with uh, Juliana hammering the ball off the block. Well, the ball was just a little too wide and Chikolari having to improvise and go with her left hand. And Juliana was waiting. Just tried to spread the play and stretch the block, but it was spread too wide. And Juliana had read it perfectly. That was nice. Back to the uh, indoor for Chikolari with that one. swing hit from her which she used to seeing in the indoor game but can be used on the beach when required lovely or just because the hand goes up and the pokey signal doesn't mean it's going to be pokey short and Juliana poking that one long and Larissa very pleased with what she's seeing Well, nearly made it two in a row. Juliana with a great first touch, but then didn't drop her right arm far enough to make the second one count. Just a little bit too far off the net as well. Well, a jump float serve that doesn't go over the net is all down to poor technique. Marta Menegatti falling to her left, not reaching up onto the ball pressure of the situation getting to her slightly. Chikolari trying to encourage her, trying to get her back into the zone. But it's not working because Minigatti has gone to an indoor game here. She's just trying to hit her way out of trouble. And Juliana's waiting for her at the net. Loading the legs, loading the thighs, way up, way across the net. Making the block. Yes! Well, that one certainly moved a lot, and it's landed right on the line. It looked like it was going out, and then it swerved right back in. 
brilliant serve. Look at the movement on that ball. Incredible. Nenigati thought it was out. I think most of the people watching thought it was out. Great chase. Brazil rebuild their block defence. Italy try to find the point again. And now the momentum with Brazil. And Juliana puts it away cross court. World class defence from Brazil as they stretch their lead and pretty much book their place in the final. They're running away with it. Oh, lovely pick up. Larissa has a look, it's a little tight to the net, she has to block, makes a touch and Juliana can't quite get on it. I think she was having a bit of a rest in the backcourt there, just watching Larissa thinking, oh, she's going to do this. And then suddenly realise, oh no, I'm going to have to play. Well, Larissa not the tallest, but gets a touch. And Juliana not quickly enough up to make the play. So Italy have the ball back. Line block signalled by Menegatti. They're going after Larissa. And Menegatti in the cross court, but not far enough to her right. If you're going to play cross court defence, you really need to not give up to your right and be beaten to the outside because that's where you're supposed to be defending. You need to be playing from outside to in so you can chase the line down. So your momentum's only going one way to your left. Overcooking that one, and you can just see the body language of Menegatti as the shoulders slumped off the back of that play. And it's just not happening for Italy in this second set. A massive lead for Brazil. Well, Larissa getting a little complacent. And Italy get lucky. We hit the technical timeout. But it's a massive lead for Brazil. Italy really need to be playing for pride. Yes, yes, the heat at the moment, like they are now, it's going to be up to Chicolari to try and get Menegatti back into this. And they're having a bit of a row here whilst we're looking at the highlights. Chicolari and Menegatti are going at each other. Menegatti is not happy. Chicolari is obviously not happy with what's going on. And you just wonder whether she's uh, said something. And Menegatti's reacted, but she's not happy. Menegatti's beside herself, isn't she? She looks like she's going to cry. But you have to feel for her. Chicolari trying to get her back in the zone, trying to reassure her here that everything's OK. And that she's OK. They have to go out and play. They have to forget the scoreline. They're guaranteed a shot at bronze. They could walk away from this weekend with nothing, i.e. no medals, but a top four finish is huge in a Grand Slam event and goes a long way towards qualification for the Olympics. There's lots of positives to take from it. Difficult to, to uh, realise those right now in this situation for Minigatti. All she's probably thinking is, I can't believe this. We're getting absolutely stuffed here. But it's Larissa who gets stuffed with that play by Chicolari. Her first block of the match, and it's a good one. Something maybe for Italy to build on. Menegatti thought about going to the line, made a movement but didn't follow it up, didn't chase it down. It's a split-second decision, and if you don't make it, if you don't follow it up, you're never going to pick the ball up. Good pick-up from Larissa. And from Chicolari. Free ball for Brazil. Juliana tries to go over on two. Chicolari reads it brilliantly. And the joust at the net goes the way of Brazil as the ball lands plumb on the line. And still no real joy for Italy. Lovely play from Larissa in the first instance. 
And it's all about that speed, getting up quickly, trying to find the angle. Both teams working so hard. But a great touch from Giuliana to deny Chicolari. No touch in the block. Giuliana trying to go off of Chicolari's hands, but they weren't available. And Italy have the ball back. Slight delay, ball on court. Quickly removed, and we can go again. Oh, great pickup, that is. And brilliantly finished as well by Menegatti. She drops the hammer. Giuliana late into block, didn't have the strength to stop the ball from coming over. Again, it's another one that goes through her hands. A desperate attempt from Larissa, but it's Italy's point. The simple side of side out for Brazil. Nothing flash, nothing fancy. Just gets the job done, gets the ball back, keeps the pressure on the other team. Keeps the scoreboard ticking over nicely as far as Brazil are concerned. That time Juliana getting her positioning wrong. And so we have what's likely to be the final end change of this semi-final unless Italy can find something from somewhere. Oh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Brazil scrambling, moving from one side of the court to the other, military marching the ball over the net, but it's the pokey from Juliana under immense pressure right onto the baseline. Then Gatti thinks he's out. That's just brilliant. Hey, Juliana is uh, trying to get the sand out of her face. It can be quite nasty. It's quite painful, actually. You get sand in your eyes. It really is very unpleasant. Oh, big throwback from Juliana, and that brings up match point for Brazil. She really put everything into that jump, got the timing right. Down she goes, out of sight, back into sight, and then gets her hands on the ball. And Chicolari with a rash attempt to play it. For a place in the final, Larissa with the serve. Then Agati to keep Italy in the game. Great pickup from Larissa. But Chicolari stops it from coming over. Juliana with the pokey. Another chance for Brazil. Oh, brilliant angle, job done. The defending champions are through to the final. What a game, entertaining throughout. You have to feel for Italy, but they were outplayed, they were outclassed by Juliana and Larissa. Confirmation of the score, 21-17, 21-10. And Juliana is off to celebrate with the fans. And this is how it was done. A brilliant rally to finish as well. Chicolari trying her utmost to stop the ball from coming over. She did it once. Gets a touch the second time. But Brazil kept on knocking on the door and eventually it opened by that cross court angle from Larissa. I'm sure when the team look back at the match, as far as Italy are concerned, there'll be that passage of play where Menegatti just tried to hit everything that they'll look on and say, well, that's where we need to learn and uh, not react in that way.
And it is a big learning curve. They will have learned an awful lot from this game. They now need to pick themselves up and get ready for their bronze medal encounter. Whilst Brazil will get themselves ready for their gold medal match. And we can now show you the highlights from what's been a thoroughly entertaining game here at Stard Centre Court. Well, the semi-finals are over. We know who is going to be playing for gold and who is going to be playing for bronze. And we hope you can join us again a little later on today for both of those matches. But for now, though, from myself, Clayton Lucas here at Centre Court in Stard at the 1-1 Energy Grand Slam, it's time to say goodbye.